Hi, Dr. Ace Thayer here, Balance, Focus, Neck Adjustments. We're here with Amanda. Amanda was in an auto accident three months ago. Uh, we have her initial video, her three-month follow-up. I hope you guys enjoy that. She's doing so much better. Uh, we want to have a shout-out to Amanda. She got married recently, so thank, uh, thank you for coming in, and congratulations. Uh, we think it's funny in this video. She was in a Tesla when she got in an accident. She was in a little tiny fender bender five mile an hour, but the Tesla had $18,000 of the damage. I think that's hilarious. It took three to five months to fix. What the hell? Anyway, she's also a workout hound. She exercises and stretches all the time. So if exercise and flexibility was a benefit for back pain, she wouldn't be in my office. So come on guys, logic. Anyways, love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. She's a great girl. Uh, see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Love you. Hi, I'm Dr. Theron with Amanda, and she was in a uh, car accident where it was her fault. Uh, it was a little minor fender bender, we thought. Um, she was um, behind somebody, uh, brake lights were out, and she knew they were out, and the person started and then stopped immediately in a right-hand turn lane, and she hit the person from the rear. <sighs> Again, less than five miles an hour, mate. She says eight, I'm gonna say even slower than that, because just like start, stop, and hit somebody, right? Pretty much. That's correct. Okay, so uh, the interesting part about this, she's driving a Tesla, and so, uh, I find this amusing because normal minor fender benders like this, even if you hit somebody, the cars are designed to take a five mile, five mile an hour hit. They call them five mile an hour bumpers for a reason. So I can't imagine her being 15 miles an hour in a right hand turn lane when she was stopped and then the guy goes and she stops and hits him. So it had to be less than five miles an hour, eight, 10, whatever, slow. Guess how much Flipping freaking damage to this freaking freaking Teslas, and how long it's going to take to fix? Just tell us how much damage they estimate. Uh, SMS eighteen thousand. Eighteen freaking thousand dollars. <laughs> this makes me never want to get one. I'm sorry, Tesla. You guys are beautiful cars, but that's crazy. You got to fix your low impact cars. How long? Bumpers. How long is it going to take to get the freaking car back? Three to five months. Three to five freaking months. <laughs> and what do they say? What do they say to you about why it takes so long? This aluminum panel and crap. Correct, and then parts is going to take about a month just <laughs> I to mean, get shipped from fuel. I don't care how nice a car it is. I mean, if you can't take a little five mile an hour hit, you've got to be kidding me. I just, she just, she told me this. I was like, I'm not going to get one now. That's freaking crazy. Eighteen thousand dollars. Insurance going to pay for it. Insurance <laughs> going to pay for it. But I mean, that's just out, out of control. Waiting three to five months for a car on a small minor fender bender like this. So, anyways, she's here. That's why Soapbox was. I just had to get that on here. Her pain is not that big a deal to me, but I mean, she's here for the pain. So anyway, she drove all the way down from uh, Temple City. She's here and she wants to get better. Uh, she has some uh, whiplash from the accident. Um, but Amanda, I'm sorry. That was funny. I'm sorry. Thanks for letting me say that. I, I asked her, I go, can I tell that on <laughs> So Amanda, why are you here? I'm here, I have some neck, shoulder pain, especially in my shoulder blade here. It's very tense and tender, even with a pot touch. Gotcha, and ha the accident was only a couple weeks ago. And so, ha have you had this pain before this? No. Gotcha, so this is all new, and she's never been to a chiropractor before. Uh, what have you done for treatment for the last couple weeks? Anything for this? Nothing. Nothing. And uh, on a scale of 110, what is this pain generally? About six to seven. Yeah, six to seven, gotcha. It bothers her enough to go out of her comfort zone. She's scared to come see me today. I am. <laughs> I've never been to a chiropractor, so it's, that kind of freaks me out right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you found us how? Um, I actually found you through YouTube. YouTube, gotcha. Yeah. And so um, there's a lot of chiropractors between Temple City and here, and she decided, she goes, oh, at least I, at least I know what bed I'm going to lie in, so I'll yes. watch this guy. And so she's here um, coming this way, and she's like, okay, let's get it done. So uh, we have right shoulder pain, we got some right TL junction pain, some low back pain, not terrible down there. Um, she's a tosser and turner, but she doesn't get great quality sleep. Um, and no real, she had a headache after the accident, nothing really stuck after that. Really, it's all right and subscap pain. Pretty typical with a whiplash. This is as typical as it gets. Anything else you want to add? Mm, nothing. Good. That's good, good. Perfect. <laughs> Over here. So go ahead and uh, touch your toes like I did before. Okay, any pain there? No. Got you. Go and stand up. Uh, and one more thing I want to add. How much do you work out a week? Five times. Five times a week. And for how yes. long a day, you think? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So you work out all the time, right? Yes. And so uh, everybody's out there is going to go, you know, she's just get a better exercise. You know, she's just stressing some more. She's the pain just go away. She's a chiropractor. Doesn't need to help. She does chiro you know, exercise and some strength things. That'll help. So have you been working out since the accident? Yes. Okay. Has it helped you? No. <laughs> so again, everybody's going to say, you know, just like that. And look at this girl. She's in shape. She works out all the time. She's addicted to working out. She loves it. 
And so don't tell me that stretching and flexibility and exercise are gonna help somebody. It doesn't. It feels better to do it, but it doesn't fix anything, okay? And we'll show you that today. We'll show you all the time, guys. So go ahead and go back like this. A little low back pain there? Yes. On a scale of 110, what is that, please? Four. Four, look straight ahead. Can you look at the floor, please? Any pain there in neck? Neck area, all the scale way down to shoulder. Uh, about five. Five, and it goes down to your spot in your right shoulder, subscribe, right? So you feel Correct. like pulling in the right shoulder? That's what is it? What does it feel like down there? It feels very tender, and then um, I can't go lower than what I'm at right now because, yeah, because it's, it's too, just too painful, it, right? Yeah, it's gotcha. very tender, and I can't bend forward. Gotcha. Go ahead and forward. look straight. Look at the ceiling, please. Look at that. Just the neck area. Neck area? Yeah. On a scale of 10, what is that? I'll say about four. Gotcha. On the back, please, over here. <sighs> I've been told that I'm supposed to relax. Yeah, by who? <laughs> who told you this? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, can't I, even I, think anymore? Yes. Fingers in your belly like this? Good. Put your fingers in your belly? Good. Perfect. Like that. Okay. So, uh, x-rays, guys. Um, they're actually worse than she even knows yet. Um, m more than I thought there would be, actually. Uh, definitely more of a kyphotic neck curve. Goes reverse. Uh, scoliosis in her neck, about 10 degrees. Um, balance problems, very, very easy to see. Um, so she's been dealing with more stuff. She has a high pain tolerance, and this accident just pushed her over the edge, made her come in here, but she's been dealing with stuff for more years than you can, uh, than she even knows or wants to admit. So check those out, and check out those arrows, right point at everything. I'll show those next time to you, okay? Okay. Good. Let's just relax best you can. You're doing great. Okay, how much pain is when I push on this right now? It's about like a two, three. Two, three? Okay. okay. I'll take it nice and slow, Amanda. Painful or surprising or a little of both? What? I just feel my neck all cracking, but there's a tingling feeling from all the way from my mid back all the way up to my neck. Mid to back? My head. So more in that spot that you have the pain from that area or yes. more in the middle? Yeah. Kind of feels like it's all connected? Yes. Gotcha. One more spot. Okay. But I feel like I'm tilting to the right, even though I know I'm not tilting to the right. Because <laughs> I'm keeping my eyes closed. Yeah. That's a balance issue. You're feeling the balance issue. So when you close your eyes, you're more in connection with your balance. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Oh, that one hurt more. That one hurt more? That was very painful. Okay. And I felt it on my right shoulder. And your right shoulder blade more? Yes. Okay. On a scale of one ten, what was that pain when you felt? Uh. I'll say about like a three, four. Okay, three, four. Gotcha. So what about this pain now when I push on your neck? Not that was a two or three a minute ago. Yeah, it's like almost non-existent. It's just okay. Yeah. So the reason why she felt a little pain is because again, she's still in the middle of a little uh, whiplash, still has some inflammation in there. Uh, when you adjust through that inflammation, it does cause some sensation. The pressure in there causes pain. So. Um, this will mitigate as we move forward, but right now she feels it, but she will feel an improvement even after this adjustment. Can you get up, Amanda? No twisting or turning. Okay. You're gonna look straight ahead, keep your arms to your side, okay? Okay. You okay? Yes. Looks like you're ready to go to sleep. I I actually don't feel like I'm tilting to the right right now. Good. Like earlier now, I actually feel like very in line. Good. So. Every once in a while we get lucky. Go and sit up, please. Put your legs over the side, sit right here. Okay, first impression about moving, no twisting or turning. First impressions. I feel so very lightheaded. Lightheaded? Very lightheaded. Okay. And so you guys all know in video land there that uh, that's a good thing because what I'm okay. doing is I'm affecting your cerebellum, I'm affecting your balance centers of your body. So by doing that, I'm making changes to your body. Now the okay. walking is going to help recalibrate that, meaning uh -huh. it's going to take that neck adjustment I gave you and pass it through the rest of your body, and your body's going to change. 
So the most important thing is look straight ahead, arms to your side. Okay. Okay, go first. Relax, Amanda. I know, I'm very tense right now. <laughs> I'm actually like kind of, yeah, very yeah, tense. I can see it. <laughs> Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Where'd the whoopee cushion come from? What patient do you think would bring that? Norm? <laughs> Uh, Clay? In that family. <laughs> Royan? Yep. <laughs> it's definitely less intense on my right shoulder. Definitely less intense? Yeah, like, I there, the pain is very... Really calm the hell down. <laughs> she's, like, she's ready to burst. Yeah. So, so breathe into your nose, please. That's better. Okay, one more. Okay. Calm down. I'm gonna walk one more time to the door, please. Go ahead. She's a little, a little anxious now. So uh, even through that anxiety, she's feeling better. And so we'll talk about it in a second, but she's a calm down, calm down. The worst part's over, okay? Now it's only the good stuff. No, 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 no twist and turn like that, okay? The more you twist and turn, the more you undo my work, meaning the more uh. you, you create the environment for your body to pull out my adjustment. So uh. you want my work, you want my work to settle in. Okay. So you don't want to get in the way of that. So as you move, it allows my work to settle in. So by doing all this shucking and jiving, uh, that makes sense? Got it. So just give it a few minutes, give it a little time to allow it to settle in, then you can screw it all up. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's go through this range. Anything else you want to tell us? You say you feel a little less pressure, right? Anything else you want to tell us real quick? So I'm no longer lightheaded, but then I can feel like the relief going from my head all the way down slowly to the rest of my body. Is that crazy? Right? Yes. I just adjusted your neck and your whole body's changing, right? Yes. Gotcha. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, it's neurology, but uh, okay. you know, it's uh, not many doctors or people believe that out there. But again, people like your first impressions. And so, what else do you feel? Anything else? Um, I don't feel as much pain. Earlier, it was like at a four or five. Right now, I'm less than two. Right now, um, there's just some tenderness, and that's all I feel. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, it's let's go through those range of motions here. Doing. Touch your toes, please. I can bend now, right? Okay, go ahead and stand up. Your hamstrings are a little looser now, right? Yes. Gotcha. You, she's flexible already, but that was, you had a little tightness in your leg. Yes. Now it's even less, right? Yes. <laughs> so go ahead and go back. That was a four out of 10. You couldn't even go halfway that back. So what is that now? Like, much better. Like, I, I can actually feel like I can bend back more. You went more. way back more. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I want to know what the pain is though, because people don't want to. It's, it's not, it's not even that painful. It was four a minute ago. Yeah. It's not that painful at all. Like, I can go pretty far back. And look at that flexibility. So again, all those people are like, if you just get more flexible, I can get people more flexible in, this, in an adjustment than you could ever do. I mean, it'd take you months to get this more flexible. And I'd be working at it all the time. I did it in a few minutes. And that's because when the body's released, when it's balanced, the body just releases that tension. So look at the floor now with your neck. Uh, See? Um, just still a little bit, but it's like a two, a two. Not as much. And look at how much flexibility. She didn't see the chest. She can almost put her chin on her chest now. She couldn't do that before. Remember you were complaining about that? Yeah. How much more range of motion do you feel like you have? It's not as tense, and I feel like I've Hello, kind of looked further you. down. You can, definitely. Yeah. In video, you'll see that. Yeah. Do the scene, please? Oh, yeah. I can feel it. This way I can stretch further back. Good. Make sure straight ahead. Back. Stop screwing around. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let's ask you your experience. Now you've never been to a chiropractor before. You've been scared out of your mind to do this for a long time, and you finally went through it. What do you think? Tell us what you think, because people want to know. I actually, it's not that scary as afterwards after the crack. It just sounds scary with the crack, but mm -hmm. I would love to come back more oh, okay. and then Appreciate and make it. some future improvements. But yeah, I, there's lots more to do. I just want to know. People want to know. In the last five minutes, what have your what does your brain waves tell you about how this is? I mean, how this experience is. Again, you had an idea when you came in. How has it changed? Is it the same as you thought? What? Just give us a little bit of feedback on that. I feel very refreshed, and I feel like I just had a really good night's sleep, even though I didn't sleep. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. That I woke up better now than this morning when I woke up. And the fear you had? <laughs> Not even there. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you so much for the video. Thank you. Uh, that was a lot of fun. She was really terrified when she came. She was all, Ugh. so it was hard was. for us to get her on video, but I thank you for the video, and uh, we'll do a follow-up on her in the future. So take care, guys. <laughs>
Hi, Dr. Fair here with Amanda. Uh, she is uh, about to close her case on an auto accident case she suffered back in October last year. Uh, so this is about a little under three months later. Um, uh, she's been a good patient, not great, because she's had some interruptions in the middle. Uh, plus we have the holidays, but um, she's done really well, and so I'm gonna, we just did her final exam. Uh, I'm gonna have her share how she's done and maybe some anything else she wants to add. But Amanda, so you came in after an auto accident, you weren't feeling very good. Uh, tell us what the, tell us kind of the, what's gone on the last couple months. Uh, since then, I haven't had any pain in my lower back, which I came in with, and also shoulder blade pain. Um, but I have been able to just still do my regular routine. I made some minor adjustments in regards to walking and also just posture wise So it feels a lot more better. I don't feel a lot of pressure Especially on my shoulder area that I used to feel a lot. Gotcha. Now uh, if you look at her, she's like a freaking Athlete man. She works out all the time. She's an unbelievable athlete. I keep telling her I go You should have been a sprinter. You've got sprinter legs man, but you never ran right? No. Yeah, so ran. anyway, she's an athlete and a half She's never stopped working out. Um, we've adjusted some of her workouts, but um, so when you guys tell me that uh, you know exercise and flexibility is going to help somebody get out of pain, mm -hmm. this girl is a poster child for doing things right, mm -hmm. and so she didn't get out of pain, so she had to come here to get treated. Tell us how your workouts have gone since we started working with you. I'm kind of curious. I haven't asked that question before. Um, my workouts are good. I feel that I'm stronger now from before. And not only that, um, the number one thing major change for me is I don't feel as tired as quickly, whereas before I was actually, I would be fairly <laughs> quick. I would say that I can go a little bit stronger, longer. Interesting. So. I never even asked that question. That's, that's, new, in, that's new information to me. We just finished your final exam. I'm just learning this. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your sleep. You said you used to be tired all the time too, toss and turn all the time. Yeah, uh, sleep's been better um, given there are certain days that it's myself because I sleep late the prior night. Yeah, she's got married, it, so that's fine. <laughs> So um, if I are actually if I consistent with my sleep, thank you. Yes. If it consistent with my sleep, actually I do get the full for me seven hours. I, I feel very awake and I'm not as fatigued. But again, you used to sleep that kind of time before, and you didn't feel as rested. So now with the adjustments, you're feeling more rested. You're waking up feeling refreshed. That's correct. Gotcha. And so she came with uh, whiplash, right shoulder blade pain, low back pain, and she just mentioned that she's feeling a lot better there. Um, lastly, I'm just going to ask you what. How has this experience been meaning? What have you learned and what kind of things are you going to take away from this? My number one thing is posture is very important and also the way that you walk and also even sitting in your car is very important. And even simple things like a pillow makes a huge difference. We're working on our sleep patterns right now. Not sleep patterns, <laughs> we're also working on our sleep height of her pillow, um, how she moves in bed and again how she sleeps in bed. All those things matter. And those are all things we're going to dial in in the future, but we're, we've already addressed all these issues. And again, it takes time to kind of really learn how to do it right, and she's just mentioning that right now. But uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Posture matters. All those little things are the things that undo my work. Mm -hmm. And so I can always help the patients, but the things they do at home unwinds the bad habits, and training those new bad habits have been difficult, but she's seen the reward from that. That's fine. Perfect. Anything else you want to add, Amanda? Mm, I'm good. good. I'm actually happy. You're actually happy. <laughs> With the results. <laughs> good, 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 good. So come over here. Why don't you sit right here? We can get you adjusted, please. Good. So, um, pretty easy on her. What have we treated on you the whole time, Amanda? Uh, mostly the neck and then also um, release of the lactic acid from my collar. Yeah. And also okay. my neck area. Your cl clavicle, right? Oh, yeah. Technical term. <laughs> no, I'm not the professional here. Yeah, we've adjusted your, we've adjusted her clavicle. So yeah, I definitely remember my first experience with um, massaging the clavicle. It was so painful. Yeah. Now I was like, oh, it's breaking so up. So who's massaging acid. your clavicle here? Genie. Genius. Our yes. Wonderful massage therapist that is too chicken to be on camera. And strong. And very strong. Good things come in small packages. She doesn't look very strong, but she brings it, doesn't she? Oh yeah, for sure. Let's go. Good, nice. On tail, please. Are you back? So clavicle adjustment right here, guys. So this is a little thing we've been doing new now. Good. I just kind of go down a little bit, you can see me do it this way. Perfect. Good. Uh, you can't hear that, but it yeah. pops. Yeah. yeah. And so on the chair, we adjusted her C6, C7. 
Now we're gonna adjust her atlas laying down. We just finished her clavicle. We adjust her shoulders already. Right there. Come on, turn it. Good, nice. So that's a perfect example, guys, of uh, how an adjustment doesn't always go easily. I mean, she knows what she's doing, but she's helped me a little too much. So you have to get it in the right spot. The only reason a lot of chiropractors don't get that adjustment is because they don't take their time and really focus on the uh, mechanics of a proper adjustment. And so she was having a little trouble getting that spot, but you can hear it. We got it good. Um, we're going to have her walk down the hall real quick and we'll finish right there. But um, that's her story. I was running. Oh, Rams, go Rams. <laughs> Beat Dallas tomorrow. Let me stop right here. So uh, I want you to rewind to the beginning of her. Uh, you can see her posture, how she used to walk. Um, her, she looks like freaking a giant compared to what she was before. And her posture is much better. We still are working properly. She still forgets, but you know, um, way better than she used to be. Yeah. More relaxed. More relaxed. Thank you so much for the video. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's a full three-month program, and she's done a lot better, and you guys get to see that. See you guys next time. Love you guys. Okay. Bye.